Well, I put the uh, warrior on the back of the horse to see how it looks, and it looks spectacular. It really does match the proportion of the uh, the horse. So I've just got to rearrange his legs a little bit and a few other things, but I'm not going to put him on quite as yet. That's going to come in a little while. And then I'll continue working on him. But for now, now I'm going to just leave the, the warrior on the horse. Uh, for now, I'm going to take the head off the uh, horse and uh, work on that today. Okay, I'm trying to show you a, a star that I got in the mail. I ordered offline. And uh, I have to make stars on this flag that I'm gonna, he's going to be holding. And I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. And I bought some little tiny metal stars. Let me try to show you how big this is compared to my finger. <laughs> it's really small. I got a feeling it's going to be way too small for the flag. But uh, what I did was I glued it with Gorilla Glue on the end of a fondue stick. And uh, I can press it into the clay and put the impression of a star. I don't have any other way of making a star uh, in the clay. So that's the only way I could come up with. Anyway, time to play with some clay. All right, I heated up my knife on this flame right here. And uh, now I've cut into the clay and I set this jig, I jigged this up so that it would fit into the uh, quarter inch uh, pie, uh, copper tubing and it comes right out and I can work on it separately. All right, I got it set up in my jig and so I can work on the uh, face of the horse. I've got... Uh, my uh, three-dimensional maquette of the horse's head here. This is uh, by an artist by the name of Wolf. I can't think of his first name. And, uh, oops, I guess I ought to get it out here where you can see it. Anyway, it has a, I'm using this uh, maquette here for the uh, muscles kind of helped me along with the uh, drawings of uh, the horse's head that I've got here to uh, kind of guide me also. So I'm not going to show it all. Uh, I've given you my reasons in the past why. It's just that I've got the instructional videos and a link to my nine videos is down below. But I'm going to go ahead and start, hopefully, by making the eyeball, which is way too big. <laughs> Ooh, brother. Way too big. Still too big.
I wish I could tell you where to get this uh, maquette, but uh, I have no clue. I bought that almost 20 years ago, along with the, uh, the standing horse up there. And they, they've changed websites, and I have no clue which one it is now. So if you just do a Google search for maquette for the head of a horse and a maquette for the uh, full body of a horse, you'll probably find it. Believe me when I tell you this is not easy because I can't really press on the head of the horse to put pressure on the clay because I might distort the other side of the horse head so I just got to do it as slow and easy as I can If you wonder why I sound like I'm breathing strenuously, it's because I am. <laughs> this is strenuous work here. Tell you one thing though, it's a lot easier to work here on this jig than it would be on the horse. A lot easier. Tell you one thing, I get my exercise bending down and picking up the stupid tools that keep falling off or rolling off my sculpting stand. You get a real education in gra gravity when you got round tools on a flat table. This is one of my homemade sculpting tools, latex rubber. If you do a search on YouTube, making your own latex sculpting tools, you'll find probably several videos on it and 
they usually have a link to where you can buy the uh, latex comes in two parts and you just mix it and it doesn't take long before it starts hardening up I just put the tongue in because if he's gonna have his mouth open he's got to have a tongue Now, as far as I'm going to get today, it's taken me longer to get to this point than I thought it was going to take me. But that's okay. I'm taking my time, and I'm doing it right. So that's going to be it for today, and I'll pick this up. Well, I won't be able to tomorrow. I've got a bronze being delivered from Jackson Hole to me tomorrow, and I don't know what time I'm going to be going to pick it up. I'm going to have to go meet him. Uh, away from here because he's on his way to Missoula and he'd be, have to go way out of his way to come here to deliver the bronze so I'm going to have to meet him at some point on his route and that's going to take tomorrow so I'll see you guys Wednesday a week from Wednesday I'll be heading up to uh, Great Falls to do my show it's not my show. It's I'm part of. I'm taking part of it. Anyway, good night, everybody. See you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.